Hi, I'm Rohit Kapoor. I'm a distinguished engineer at Cadence. And today I'm going to describe the uh, congestion problem solution of scan compression in the MODIS solution. What you see on the uh, picture here is a representation of scan compression. And, and it, it basically has many small scan chains that are fed from few scan ins and are uh, connected to few scan outs. The input side is called the decompressor, which is marked in blue. The output side is the compressor, which is marked in red. In the cadence solution, uh, the output side is implemented with XORs, and the input side is, is uh, implemented with an elastic register, which consists of a sequential engine, which is LFSR-based uh, sequential engine, and, and some XORs, which are used to spread the values of that engine across to the scan chains. So uh, if you really look at the way uh, normal compression solutions are implemented, scan chains in the design are implemented based on uh, locality of the flip-flops in the netlist. And hence, you end up getting scan chains that are uh, uh, locally created across the particular uh, layout of the design. So what you see here in black are the scan chains. And I just drew a grid of those scan chains uh, uh, in this particular picture. In a normal compression implementation, the codec would be placed somewhere on this layout. Uh, I took the location in the center uh, for this. And the codec represents the compressor and decompressor together. There are connections from the codec that go to these distributed scan chains, and that is represented by the blue line and the red lines that you see on the picture. And you can very clearly see that that's a serious congestion issue, because now you've taken a piece of logic that is uh, located in one part of the uh, design and is going to connect to many distributed scan chains. So to solve this in uh, MODIS, what they have done is uh, the elastic register is uh, located in one corner of the design out here. And uh, the blue lodge, I'm going to first talk about the decompressor. You can see that the values of the elastic register are then sent along a grid uh, that is going along the x, y coordinates to all the chains in the design. Uh, the XORs of the decompressor are constructed based on the locations of the scan chains represented by the uh, black circles in this picture. As a result of this, the congestion is minimized. The wire lengths are much smaller than what you would get in the original case. So it is very layout friendly. And uh, the strength of the solution is that the XORs are constructed not randomly, but based upon the locations of the scan chains in the design. On the compressor side, again, the XORs are created uh, local to the scan chains that are distributed across the design. Their values are brought together along a grid line, as you see again, the red lines, that bring together the values from a flop or, or a scan chain here. Uh, it goes and XORs with this particular uh, scan chain output, collects with this particular scan chain output, and at the end is is uh, collected all the way to the scan, scan outs. So the two grid lines, an XY grid is created to get the compressor implemented in uh, MODIS. Uh, as a result of this, there is very little congestion. And this is one of the limiters of scan compression. Uh, so now you can ask for much higher compression without worrying about congestion with the MODIS technology. Thank you, and see you at the next Whiteboard Wednesdays.